so I decided that this morning <laughs> we're going to raise the roof for Nigeria and um, we're going to talk about Nigeria at 62. Now, I know that campaign has started, everybody is doing rally. <laughs> and please stay safe out there. Make sure that you're working in groups. Make sure that you have your phones, check yourself, have water. However, you are going to um, walk the walk. <laughs> walk, stay hydrated and, um, <coughs> and stay safe. So, um, I joined 62 this morning and um, there's, there's a lot of March past that um, at Abuja, right, we're celebrating. Now, the question is, um, before I go to the question, Nigeria marked um, independence in October 1, 1960. We gained our independence and became a sovereign state. An oil-rich nation, which is a major export, and there are also other exports such as granite, cocoa, and recently our tech exports. And there are also different things that we've been able to export. Now, at the moment, we're in the we're in the season of Jack where everyone is trying to leave. Now we've experienced different things. Where we've experienced different, different things from inflation to insecurity. Everything that can happen to a nation is happening to us right now. And um, okay, how else are we going to grow as a nation? How else are we? We're still suffering from bad leadership. We're still suffering from corruption. Our institutions are not strong. Um, our 2023 elections, Nigeria 2023 elections, is few months away, and we're looking forward to electing the most competent leader <laughs> that will restore the nation's glory. The question is, what is our nation's glory, right? Um, once the country can create an enabling environment, we'll see the rate of migration reduce and pro productivity increase. Nigerians all over the world love, right, love and want to return home. But the insecurity, right, would not make us be great. <laughs> the high rate of um, insecurity would not let us be great as a country. So what then can we do? At 62, we should be proactive. Sometimes um, we we try to um, how do I how do I say it? We try to hold on and say, okay, we have hope because hope keeps us together. Um, but when is hope not enough, right? Um, we're still trying. We're we're trying to say, okay, let's hold our leaders accountable and let's say transparent system of government which is what nigeria is expecting the question this morning is nigeria at 62 what do you want from this country that's my question this morning nigeria at 62 um, with a lot of things going on um what do you want from this nation we're still here everybody says it's not everybody but are we, are we 200 million people but we're, we're big country um big country and um, well we're just is there something to hope for? I don't know. What about you? What do you expect from Nigeria? Um, people are working today. Please stay safe again. It's Independence Day. We want to get our voices heard. Um, we're assured by the security officials that we're going to be safe. But the pictures that I'm seeing this morning, <laughs> you all that are doing rally, right? Uh, please be safe. Just be safe, right? So, Nigeria 62, what are your expectations? What are you expecting from your country our country nigeria what are you expecting everybody we're all trying to we're green we're green the um schools primary school secondary school some offices decided to celebrate independence day in their own style in their companies in their school our kids were looking very lovely they say these kids are the you are the future leaders of tomorrow question mark right um what should our children look forward to as a nation nigeria 62 what are your expectations and it's okay for us to have expectations because really um are we safe and secure we're going into an active election where the, the, the campaign has started active campaigns <laughs> everybody's bringing out their daggers right and making sure that their own voices are heard so what are we looking for as a nation what are you looking for is there something to celebrate <laughs> is there something to celebrate and your opinions are valid, right? And I also want to hear them this morning. WhatsApp us. 
um, 009-234-5913. Um, call us, 009-191-3913. Um, another is 0151-509-13. Nigeria 62, what are your expectations? Right? Um, they said we're the leaders of tomorrow. What's going on? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please reduce the volume of your radio set. It's okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Your name or where are you calling us from? Your name is. Emeka. Okay, Emeka from Ikeja. So, we're talking Nigeria 6 to happy independence. Um, <laughs> what are your expectations? Yeah, I just, I wanted to ask you, I could see you to advertise my Oh, please call us <laughs> next week, Saturdays, 10 to 10 15. Uh, just because that's the ability to address the problem. Why? That's the question. Thank you. Okay, then. 009-234-5913. Signals business is 10 to 10.15, so we'll continue next week Saturday. This morning, we're looking at Nigeria 62. What are your expectations from your dearest country? <laughs> from your dear country, what are your expectations? What are you looking forward to? 009-191-3913. Zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three Nigeria at sixty two. What are your expectations? Um, do you think again where we've started campaigning? People have started campaigning. Politics, have, politics have started happening. Well, and um, I know somebody was saying that we want good leadership. Um, and how then can we get good leadership? Right. <laughs> How do we hold our leaders accountable? How do we get a country that work? Is it's a question that's on our minds. Um, in the height of insecurity, inflation, stuff's are expensive. Stuff's are really, really expensive, right? And how then are we going to create an enabling environment for everybody? They say we are the leaders of tomorrow, and the leaders there that. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> with a with salt in my mouth zero one five one five one nine one three zero one five one five zero nine one three what are the issues that you want nigeria to address what 62 this sometimes they say that um uh, if if nigeria was a person a 62 year old person is I'm sure would have gotten their lives together, but it's not always the case. It's really not always the case. Um, I, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, zero zero nine two three four five nine one three. <laughs> Somebody sent you a message saying that in 2022 alone, the national power grid has collapsed no less than five times. The roads are in bad state. And the barrels of oil have been stolen daily. All of this make up the country, and uh, all of this make the country lose money and remain slowly developing nation, not forgetting the misappropriation of funds by political leaders. The Nigerian people are gradually coming to a realization that they deserve better as citizens. Well, yes, we deserve better as citizens. What do you deserve as a as a Nigerian? Yes, because everyone is saying not everybody can leave. In as much as people are trying to leave, people are also being swindled. So please be careful, right? What are your thoughts at Nigeria 62? What do you hope for, for from this country, right? Even if you are not going to go, I saw somebody. I, I know somebody said to me that everybody can go, eh? But me, the remaining opportunities, um, we would um, we would unless them. Well, different perspectives for different people. So, 
how do you is there anything to celebrate really because i saw those i saw i saw kids i saw different children they were so ex excited <laughs> that um they're going to celebrate nigeria primary school secondary schools made sure that the, the attires were so lovely they were dressed in their different ethnic their tires and they believe and they believe in a nation but uh, how are we supposed to tell them that nigeria is a work in progress right and um would would they still meet a nation i'm sure they should i'm sure i'm really sure they should i'm hopeful i am so much hopeful of a country that will work but what about you um churches are saying they must wear white green white green or sunday yes <laughs> Is there something to celebrate, right? Is there something to celebrate? And if we look at everything, is there something we're celebrating? Do we have a country to celebrate? Uh, I don't know. What about you? Please call me. Please call us and tell me what's on your mind. <laughs> tell me what's on your mind. Zero one five one five one nine one three. Zero one five one five zero nine one three. Zero zero nine triple two. <clears throat> zero nine one three what's up zero zero nine two three four five nine one three signals where we're talking we're celebrating even google has the nigeria flag <laughs> well um i'm trying to look for trouble so how then what's what's your expectation for nigeria 62 it's something that we should um i don't know nigeria sometimes will tire you out but it's still the country that we have, right? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Um, Emmanuel, I'm calling from Sugar. Hello, Emmanuel. Happy Independence. I wish you the same. Okay. Very so much into wish. Okay. <laughs> that voice is low. Um, <laughs> this, should, this, this, this should give you a, a hint of where my conversation is going to be. Yes, that voice. You're, you're returning your voice. Um, like, okay. Okay. Again. <laughs> okay. Uh, to answer your question, yes, what um, even if to celebrate mm. the coming 62 years as a as an independent country? Mm. Um, I'm going to be very honest oh, and uh, right. frank. Yes and no. The yes is about 2% and the no is, of course. We know the other mm. number of percentage that is there. Now, the yes is, of course, we've, um, we've come a long way. Yes. If not for anything, our resilience as a people, mm -hmm. we set the tone as, um, as individuals of the country, of all the country. Um, and this explains why Anywhere we find ourselves, we are usually a force to work on yeah, so you understand what I'm saying? Sure. So that in itself should be celebrated. Again, is, um, we've in a way produced people of um, value, people of um, caliber, you know. I can mention a million and more names now, and mm. um, I will stop. Regardless of how the country has treated them, they've gone out of their ways, being ingenious, being innovative, being, you know, you know, to make things happen. Mm -hmm. We've got entrepreneurs that are less than 30, less than 40, age-wise, and we are doing things, despite the government's or uh, our leaders' inability to be on our side, to get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, in a way, that is worthy of celebrating, and... For everybody that can hear my voice today, and you know you're pulling your grind and you're doing your thing, and just know that you are very much appreciated, and the country, you know, gives you thumbs up. Hmm. That's it. Thank now, you. Now, <laughs> because of time, so let me just let me just wrap up. So I know that I'm taking off time. Okay. Now, what is there not to celebrate? I mean, the country is in a mess. The country is in a mess. You know, the security, the economy, healthcare. People, people, people say infrastructure is improving, but if what what infrastructure affects the common man? Hmm. Power. What is the what's happening with power? What's happening with water? What's happening with basic infrastructure, transportation? You know, look away from Lagos State. Look at other states. Nigeria is not just the Lagos State. So 
I, I, I believe I've been able to answer your question, mm. Madam, and I'm happy to find also to get Thank yeah, you, bye. thank you. Um, I have from Facebook, um, Ross Ida says that Nigeria 62, we haven't prioritized education. Students have been at home since February. Um, what's the way forward for future leaders of tomorrow? I have from WhatsApp, um, I don't know if you know that as far as people like me is concerned, there's absolutely nothing to be proud of or celebrate about this abnormal and absolutely I'm not going to say the winning words, Nigeria. And I don't know if you know, as far as people like us are concerned, Nigeria has been divided, shattered, and scattered into pieces and has gone into oblivion. And it's now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Early good morning. <coughs> Call us back 09 Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Hey, you know where Okay. Welcome, Samson. From where? Yeah, Mushu. Okay. Uh, guess what I saw yesterday mm. when I was going out around 10 o'clock. I was walking down to my street mm. and I saw the little children. Unfortunately, I, went, I didn't know that was, my son was there <laughs> on their school marching with the Nigeria flag. Jubilating with the aunties on their back, mm. I waved my hand. Hurt. <laughs> I said, "Wow, these children, they are happy because they don't know what the fellows are going through about this country." Mm. And uh, when I came back, I saw the Nigeria flag that their mommy bought for them. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I laughed? Mm. Since independence, I'm close to my fourth now. What benefit can I say that I have benefited from the government of this country? Mm. Or what way can I say that I'm happy as a citizen of this country? Is it the percentage of light? Zero. Is it percentage of roads? Zero. Is it percentage of hospital? Zero. Okay, look at what ASU is, go is going through now. There are children in abroad. If I were not going to celebrate anything about Nigeria, I'm sorry to say that. If you that is praying for the Nigeria, did you pray when God established the oil? Or did you pray that the, I don't know the prayer that people say I pray for Nigeria. You understand? Prayer without faith is dead. You understand? Okay, this is 1960 today. What can we boost? Can we boost of anything? Or you that in the studio, can you measure one thing that gives you joy that you are citizen of this country, that you are being benefited? If not for what you've done for yourself, mm. it's a shame. Mm. Thank you. It's okay. For the joy in the, heart, in the eyes and faces of the kids, we hope that the country works well, right? Um, I saw something within the week. For every doctor that is still... <sighs> for every doctor that is still, are still not gone, thank you right um I, I had some experiences within the week that shook me to my bone marrow but i want to say thank you to the doctors that are still staying against your wishes thank you right uh, <laughs> because the lies <laughs> that are in your hands that you have to um the lies that you have to take care of prescribed drugs for um thank you thank you doctors that are still staying i know that because Thank you. As in, I said I was going to say this. Thank you, doctors that are still staying and have not gone, right? And we just we all want a country that works. How we're going to achieve that? I I hope that we're able to vote our consciences during the elections come 2023, God willing, right? So what is there to celebrate about Nigeria? There's floods currently going on at Lokoja. There was flood. Um, that there, there, there was a massive flood in um, Florida. The response team at um in florida is very good everybody's trying to make sure that people are safe and come out of it but again there's flood in lokoja and the response to that it's what what i don't know about right a massive floods in lokoja and we just hope that people are safe and we hope that they get response on time right so again a country a a country Nigeria, a country. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Sonny. Happy New Month. Happy 
Tony from where? Tony from Papa. Okay, so what are, tell us. Share your thoughts with us. Okay. Share your thoughts with us about Nigeria. We're talking Nigeria 62. What are your expectations? What are your thoughts on yeah. um, uh, My expectation is first and foremost, we need reflection. We need to reflect back. Anybody that wants to move forward has to reflect back and see. Uh, it's like a bad day. Mm. You need to reflect your your life, your past, what has been going on. Are you moving forward or are you moving backward? If Nigeria is not moving back, if Nigeria is moving backward, they have to like reflect back and say, wow, what we are doing that is making us then going backward. It's time for change. It's time for us to be more better than others. Like, like, a, like an athletic people are running. You want to be number one. You know, you see Americans, you see all those great countries. They are not, uh, they are humans like we are humans. They don't have three hands, they don't have two heads. They don't have one head as we, we two have one head. They have one hand as we two have two hands too. So what's wrong? Why are they more better than us? What is going on? The same brain, the same eyes. Is that time Nigeria begins to add value into their lives and into their, into the things of Nigeria itself? To make us more greater than the world, the world. So it's high time Nigerians, Nigerians to say everybody, Try and do it right. In any way you, any way you are, try and do it right. Have a positive mind. Mm. You understand? We know, fine, you are built in the past, but you can get better. Then you can be great. Mm. You understand? By let us do the right thing. If everybody do the right thing, everyone will be right. You know, it's not only the presidency or the politician. Nigerian, if I'm doing the right thing, and by the time you come and do the wrong thing, you'll be ashamed. Mm. If everybody doing the right thing, and somebody comes and do the wrong thing, that person can't. But when you are doing the wrong thing, the other person is doing the wrong thing, then you, the wrong thing is, is become more in a society. So let's learn how to do the right thing. Everybody work hard to do the right thing, and you will come back to be great okay. once again. Thank you. Thank you. It's early. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Well, my name is Peter Monse. I'm calling you from Sumulu. Happy independence to you. Well... I think since that is a tradition, I can just also say up independence to you. Okay, thank you. But it's like, um, if I want to look at it uh, in-depthly, is that we are not really truly independent. Okay. Um, why? The situation where, as I am talking to you now, I know within the past few weeks, more than 10 members of our church have left this country and have gone to the 10, I mean, two families of five members each. How long that time, I may mean, not know. And then my question is, why is it that we were blaming the colonial masters for coming here to trade on human beings? We call it slave trade. And then they forced us and carried us away. But today we, we fought ourselves and package ourselves and go and give them ourselves. Is that not slave uh, um, trading? This one we do it voluntarily. Then they did it forcefully. Uh, why does this happen? Because of the kind of leaders that we have at 62. As I'm talking to you now, for the past uh, many weeks now, there is no water. They, we didn't have water for three months. And then after that, they brought it just four days, five days, and the water was up at the today. At 62. Nigerians cannot have visible water. As I talk to you now, the light, the dog brought the light since they took it at night. Nigeria cannot have relatively steady power supply. Then, our leaders are still tied to this apron mentality of our colonial masters. If you have Qatar, you must go to these colonial masters. If you have any headache, you must go abroad. And then, there are children that are not schooling yet. I think that, that means the slavery still continues. The colonialism is still here. It's like, what is happening is that the white people just left us in the hands of our black Left masters, which are these politicians. Actually, I'm not happy this morning. Honestly, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk too much on this. But I just feel that my spirit is down. Even when the president came up to give the address, the only thing that gladdened me during that address was when he said this is his last address as a president. <laughs> I think that that has brought my blood pressure a little bit down. Okay. That I will not be exposed again next year as my president because all the promises they made to us. This party made to us the ones that they have successfully fulfilled. 
Nigerian insurgency, high cost of living, and then everything down. Okay. Me. okay, so Peter, Peter, Oga Peter, yes. you know what? Eh? Yes. Because you, I want you to see a better Nigeria, I need you to make sure that your your HBP, your high blood pressure reduces, eh? Because Honestly. thank you. That's that's why I said that is address that he will not be here again as a president. Just <laughs> brought down my my yeah, my yeah, so just come I, 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 I will not I, I, want to hear. I've heard you talk this morning. Just reduce, eh? Because our life will yes, be... Thank we'll you be very much. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Nigeria 62, people have different, some are sad reflections, some people are not happy, right? What do you have to say? Um, how do you feel about your country being 62, right? Um, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I remember where you calling us from. And that way you can job from Idimu. Okay, welcome to the program. Happy Independence. Happy National Day. Okay, it's a national That day. is what we arrived at yesterday <laughs> with COVID. Okay. So instead of calling it independent, we better choose National Day. Okay. So, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's the one thing I want us to, I, I want us to clearly look at. Nigeria is a great country. Look okay. at about it. And it's a great. We have two something in symbol. One, if you see our ego, our own ego, that is the symbol, if you see. And you see that of America. That <laughs> our own sit down. <laughs> don't have a slide. Anyway, don't let me go down that because you can be allowing me up. No, 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 I'm not. I'm, I I started to laugh when you compared okay, okay, our Nigerian okay. Igu. No, okay, let me, let me read this other one. You've already understand what I'm trying yes. to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is, when you look at our, the national anthem that we made, mm -hmm. it goes as us. Nigeria, we hail thee. Our home, they are native land. But that's the, that's, that's the old one. Oh, try and talk. Maybe Eva in brother who we stand. That is where I want to be. Where I want to go. Okay. <laughs> Don't try that song. The Diva in brother who stand. But if you look at the the coconut that you are dancing now, you cannot see that one. That's that one there. No, no. We have well, no God of creation. All these things, all these things, we have the meaning. Then people cherish what the country called Nigeria, and everybody is asserting that we will not let Nigeria fall. Mm. They work hard. They are not like they are not money mongers. They are those who are who are, who, 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 who are ready to to serve recklessly. Oh, come on! Look at them now. Any even a councillor by the by by the time the councillor stands. Uh, in, in the office for six months, you will use Lamborghini, you only for Lamborghini, you only for this and that. How do we move forward? The little that they should have packed together for us to, uh, to, to, to execute most of the projects that are needed to us, they squander it. Yes? We were into it. God is, our, God is in our favor. But we should all work hard to make Nigeria great. Happy National Day. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Well, uh, uh, signals on I two one point three. We're talking Nigeria six two. What are your expectations? Call us zero zero nine two three four five nine one three. Send us a WhatsApp message zero zero nine two three four five nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy, morning. happy Independence Day to you and to every Nigerian. Thank you. <laughs> yes, my name is Alex. Okay, thanks. Well, I still have hope in this country. Thank you. Irrespective of whatever we're going through, because we never created, we never formed this uh, land. It was created by God Almighty, mm. and everything has its reason. We've all learned our mistakes. What I want to appeal to Nigeria today is for us to come together, like mind, positive mind, attract positive mind. Mm. It is only when we allow those who have negative mind to, to merge us together. That is when we start to see oppression. 
but I have hope because I've once witnessed a very good country like ours. Mm. But things now turn the other way. But in life, there's always ups and downs. Mm. You understand? Yeah. It's just a picture that the new, the set we have this generation, the kids have not enjoyed this country just like we did. But I know if we all come together, converse together as positive minds, as one family, one nation, sincerity, honesty, and justice, to show love and kindness to everybody, this country will, be, will go to go far, far off. Mm. So I want us to open our eyes this new 2020 election that is coming and vote the right candidate. Because enough is enough. I have hope in this country. Mm. And we're going to get together. Thank you. Thank you too. Well, um, now I think one of the callers has had to go go and um, look for the old Nigerian anthem lyrics, and it says this, and and I think this is something that we should reflect on, right? Nigeria we hail thee, our own dear native land. Though tribes and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we stand. Nigerians all are proud to serve our sovereign motherland. Our flag shall be a symbol that truth and justice reign and in peace and battle honored and this we count as gain to earn to our children a banner without stain hmm hello good morning hello good morning please reduce the volume of your radio sir yeah hello good morning i can hear you yeah my name is victor okay. welcome hello i can hear you welcome to the program happy independence yeah uh, my name is victor i want to say happy independence day to our uh, country, Nigeria. And uh, one thing I like to say is this, that um, God is at work in Nigeria. That is why we are still together. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm very sure in 2023, Nigeria will truly become independent. Like the other caller said, happy National Day. <laughs> so I'm beginning to understand something there. National is just like a man having a family mm. and you don't have independent because it's depending on your family to take care of your wife and children for you mm. and that's why the country that we are in because of the kind of people that we have uh, as the leader but uh hopefully one day and it's not too long for you know, 2023 is just here yes. something good will come up and we will be better again because remember when we were much younger independent were like this everybody will be looking at uh, looking forward to First October, because we have to be in school, everybody will be celebrating. Yeah. But this day is nothing. Even the president and uh, the entire nation is not. Uh, you know, this first October, everybody will be looking at because the president will say something. Yeah. We want to hear new things. Nothing will happen. Even as a military, yeah. when they were, uh, you know, in, in, during that era, we will see things were still much, much better. And Amanda will have to be and things are like this. Well, what more can I say? God bless Nigeria. You too. Well, um, I like I like where the last one of the colors are taking me to. And here's the thing, right? How do we? The the old lyrics also say that Oh God of all creation, grant us this one request and help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed, and so with peace and plenty, Nigeria may be blessed. Nigeria is already blessed. What we need is um, we coming together. Um, tongues, tribes. We have different tribes. Tongues are differing. Um, tongues differ, right? And we, we want a country where no man, and I mean no single person is oppressed. That We have a right to our voices. We have a right to to do that which we want to do in making sure that we have a country that works. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Happy Independence. Where yeah. are you calling us from? Yeah, Mr. Andrew from Lagos. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, I choose to call it uh, National Day because ah. I was reflecting right now. Okay. One of your caller yes. was saying the same thing, and there is a meaning on that, mm -hmm. that independence. National Day is the one that combined us together that as one. is national. So, but what I want to say this morning is that Nigeria, when we started, we started uh, in a good cause. But because of envious ambitions of our politicians that like the citizenry to be on a perpetual poverty so that they will be used every election, this nation has turned to, to downside. This country is blessed by God with so many things. I'm not regretting of being in Nigeria because 
I know that God loved me. That is why he made me to be a Nigeria. I'm born in Nigeria. I was not decided where I will be born. I was born in Nigeria in the 70s. I, I was born up till now. I'm still living. I'm even still living in Nigeria. I've not even joined the people going to Europe and America. What I'm trying to say here is this. This is time for us to bring a positive change to our attitude, our lifestyle, and the way we treat each other. Because that's the only way it starts. It starts between me and you. It's not about government. It's not about the positions. It's from us that will make this nation great again. It's not only about position because those positions, they have families, they have friends. You know? Sure. So what I'm trying to say here is I don't want to start condemning or I don't, I want to be a neutral, in a neutral ground that this country will be great again if only we can work together in selfless mm. ambition and goal and vision. Mm. We achieve a lot in this country because God has blessed us already with everything we need to be the best in the world, not even in Africa. Because we have so many natural resources here. We have plant resources. We have the best grain. I tell you, I'm calling you now, I'm not a graduate. If I'm a graduate, maybe I'll be a professor by now. That's the truth. But what I'm trying to say here is this. We have so many things to be envied by the whole world. You know, I, all times I'm, too, I'm telling my friends that Europe and America, they're supposed to be our servants. That's true, because they, they know what we have. They I don't want us to see the light of the day, because if we see it, they cannot gain anything again. We will rise up against uh, about them, because we're all human beings, flesh and blood. I don't think an American or an a European man is better than me. No, I don't think so, because God creates all of us equal. So let us balance it in this country. So people that say I am, uh, we are the one that will be on the leadership, the no, it doesn't work that way. Put everybody together. It's with a family. In a family, the father, the mother, the children, you delegate things to everybody, so that everybody will feel belongs. So this is what I want us to do, so that this nation will stand again. I have a very big hope in this planet. That's the person I'm after. I'm not after any party. I tell my friends, I tell my family, it doesn't work that way. Okay. So I want to conclude. Just God bless this country, bless our leaders, and turn their heart to do the right thing. <laughs> and all of us, as for myself and you there in the studio, mm -hmm. let us do the right thing at every given time in any way we see ourselves. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, then. Uh, good morning. Good morning, dear. Happy New Month. We have little or nothing to celebrate. I have the right to you now. There's no light, corrupt, inept, deceit, deceitful, and selfish politicians everywhere. Nigerians has got no business being poor. God has given us everything, but greedy politicians won't allow us to enjoy it. Say no to old and greedy politicians. Happy New Month, Jerry. Um, that's Chooks, Emperor Chooks from Alakpere. Another person says that... Um, uh, <laughs> so good morning why is it that 62 years and as, as an independent nation our leaders are still retaining the brutal police force handed over to us by foreign colonial masters a banner without stain but the stain that banner at Gate last year it's still our country <laughs> one last call hello good morning <laughs> okay then and um, thank you so much for everyone who has called in and shared your thoughts hi dear i'm going to where yeah. Drag that mic to you. I start me fast, fast. It's only me that can do you like this. <laughs> so Nigeria at 62. Whoops. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts quickly? Well, I mean, we know where we are. <laughs> where we, are we? We the people haven't changed. We still produce <laughs> the you bad like government. What are you What exactly? <laughs> yeah, we haven't changed. We produce bad government. You know, the other day during the I week, have calls yeah, yesterday. During the week, I, I was speaking. I mean, we were having this chat and... I said somewhere, I said to Paula that, listen, we've, we now have an attitude that is bad, and we're always in a hurry. Then Paula said, it's not about the attitude, it's the system that is frustrating you. I said, listen, it's gone beyond the system to become a character trait. She didn't agree, so I gave her this very simple illustration. Yes, we know our system is messed up, we know you put so much pressure on you, and we, we blame the system. Mm. But then we relocate to America and the UK, and we still have the same character. 
in a place where you have a better system. And then they have to function very well. You have to obey the laws and regulations and, and everything. they're struggling with it. And a lot of us are arrested. Look at what happened in Dubai. Look at what happens almost everywhere we go. The Nigerian -ness. Nigerian -ness. <laughs> So it's gone beyond the systemic structure. It's become a character. And until we accept that we have a, an attitudinal problem, we will keep producing the kind of leaders that we want. How many of us, like uh, George Ashi said in my program mm. this morning, how many of us can, how many of our leaders in the community mm. allow people correct them? Mm. Once you have money, you start behaving like a big boy. It have arrived. That is it. So that is the same thing. I, 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 I think I just I see. So bef let me just wrap up with this, right? By the time we start having leadership classes from primary school, uh -huh. mm? leadership classes in secondary school, leadership classes in tertiary institutions, mm. where people are in positions and don't misuse the positions, they don't misuse the positional powers that they have, right? It isn't gradually, gradually, where one person corrects another person and you don't feel as if you are too big. So I'll tell you what happened yesterday. <laughs> I, see, uh, <laughs> Aluta will not be my problem. <laughs> so I went to buy um, hair paste from a guy standing by the roadside. And then there was this soldier guy who passed. And there's a barracks, right? And I, I did, for, for some reason, the man was trying to talk to a lady. And I go... Oh girl, you are stopping. And then there, were, there was traffic at the back of the man. Then there was a certain man beside me. And the man was like, I'll leave him. They talk to him, babe. I said, no, it's, as if, if you see me, it's, 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 I was going, I was about to lose you see it. That? I was it's, about it's to lose it. Even and the I'm military like, officer. And I'm like, you are, you are causing traffic. And the man goes, and, and I just looked. I'm like, the lady beside me was like, ma, I said, no. And then I just went, oh, no, 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 no. And I'm like, we, we keep talking that we want change but here's the thing even we ourselves we've just we've just normalized bad attitude exactly. you know stop that's like a military person now not to put anybody into trouble i was just not having it yesterday i, I think the, the man did not even know i was talking i just drove up and i'm like and then instead of for his colleague to say ah oh, please now sorry about and that. do you understand and even still um defend the uniform because they were in uniform exactly. defend the uniform that okay we're not like this and then you would just uh just i was just not having it that's who, yeah, that's who, <laughs> i was I, just not having it in the same line of what you were saying we're driving through my area ah. and there's a school now a woman was trying to pick her child no problem you've come to pick your child i have a child too now where you want to park somebody's already parked there you're trying to get the person to move the person who has come to pick the child or whatever, so I, no it, it will not cause traffic on the road. Not, not just cause traffic. She was turning, she was driving towards me. She was trying to cross ahead of me. She blocked the cars behind oh, her God. and blocked me from moving. And when you're talking to her, she just looked away unconscious. No, like, that, so, so where's that coming from? That's where's what that effort to do? That's what we accuse President Wari of doing every day. See, um, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it not, it's not even being common sense says that you do the right you thing regardless right of thing. whether you empower or not yes right so as we go into 62 like i don't know why people say happy new age i don't like that but anyway as we go into 62 <laughs> i hope that we teach one we act right because we will go to other people's country and we'll, we'll be able we'll be on our best mm. behaviors we'll we are the mid, we are the Not all of us. A lot of us do mess up, though, and that's why we have seventy seventy percent of our people mm. are the we are, we are largest ex, um, export. We are talent. We are exporting yes. talent yeah. every day, right? Mm. You will act well, but even in this country, because of any illness, as we are going into sixty two, I plead with everybody that is listening to myself and Kyrie and everybody who has called in. I cannot pick up because my time is up, and Emmanuel Odeyem is coming for me, right? <laughs> um, and I. I, and I'm saying that we act right for the children, for the joy in the eyes of those children who were very happy in wearing green, white, green yesterday at mm. their schools, right? Let's act right. Have a wonderful week. And um, as we always see on Signals, you may again create opportunities for people and keep creating opportunities because we will still be ourselves. We are not going anywhere. <laughs> uh -huh. Have a wonderful week and God bless. <laughs> Oh As in, in my head, madness. Be me. <laughs> madness. That's what I go through every single day. Ah.